Thank you, Chair Yellen. Um, so does the Federal Reserve have the legal authority to implement negative rates? I'm sorry, do we have the legal authority to? Implement negative rates. So this is a matter that uh, the Federal Open Market Committee considered um, around 2010, and we didn't um, fully, as we were exploring our options to provide accommodation, we decided um, not to lower interest rates, um, either IOER to zero or into negative territory. And we didn't fully look at the um, legal issues around that. I would say that remains a question that we still would need to investigate more thoroughly. In uh, one of our document requests, that 2010 memo uh, that I, I assume was connected to that policy that's discussion right. That's right. Um, raised uh, significant doubts about uh, the Fed's authority um, that they currently have to charge uh, to pay interest on excessive re on excess reserves, so and whether or not that same authority would allow you to uh, demand payment for that. So, Congressman, I I don't know of any doing that. That memo indicated was intended to indicate that the legal issues had not been seriously considered have they been the time seriously that went to the FOMC. Have they been seriously considered since 2010? Well, in the spirit of prudent planning, we always try to look at what options we would have available to us, either if we need to tighten policy more rapidly than we expect or the opposite to loosen policy. You, so you, we would take a look at it, but the legal issues I, I'm not prepared to tell you have been thoroughly examined at this point. So at this point, it, it, it's unclear whether or not the Fed does have legal authority to implement negative rates. I am not aware of any um, anything that would prevent us from doing it, but I'm saying that we have not fully investigated the legal issues. That would re that still needs to be done. So let's move to regulation, right? A significant part, you, you run the largest regulatory organization in the United States of America, perhaps in the globe, likely in the globe. Um, and as such, you know, I believe in the independence of, uh, of the Fed to make monetary policy. But as a regulator, uh, Congress should have significant oversight of your regulatory action, should they not? Yes. Okay. And as such, um, as a matter of regulation, uh, the Chairman raised this question with you the last uh, time you were here about uh, Federal Reserve regulators, uh, bank examiners uh, demanding to be a, a, a part of board of director meetings uh, at member banks. Um, and you've exchanged multiple letters on this matter. Uh, we still hear uh, that this is, in fact, taking place. Um, would you pledge to this committee that you would direct uh, your bank examiners and regional bank examiners to stop this practice? Well, I will, I will look into... Well, you've already looked into it and you've exchanged letters and you gave the chairman uh, assurance last time you were not aware of it. I assume you're now aware of whether or not this is taking place. Are you not? I think there are occasional situations in which that occurs. Do you believe that's appropriate? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not certain that it is inappropriate. I want to get back to you on that. Okay. Well, this was raised about six months ago by the Very chairman. You've exchanged multiple letters. Uh, I'd like to have some greater assurance. So this is not meant to be a gotcha. This is a well-worn question. Um, and we're, we're hearing, um, and in fact, there's a press report that uh, uh, the Fed directed uh, one of your member banks to incorporate two additional members of, of their board of directors, um, and the Fed directing a private enterprise to change their board of directors seems somewhat perplexing. Um, do you believe that's appropriate authority for the Fed? Well, I think it is appropriate as a matter of supervision to, to direct um, ensure, ensure that a board of directors um, of a financial 
company that we supervise is appropriately constituted and fulfilling its corporate governance functions. That is a part of supervision. My time is expiring. Time of the gentleman has expired. The chair now recognizes the gentlelady from New York, Ms. Maloney, ranking member of our Capital Markets Subcommittee.